Hi, this is Casey with Septic Solutions. Did you just get your new gas or your vein air pump and have some questions about hooking it up? In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to know to get this air pump up and running. The first thing that you need to do is get power to your rotary vein pump. And uh, I've zoomed in here so you can see a little bit better what exactly I'm doing. Um, your pump, you'll see, will have this box on the outside of it with the plate covering. I've already taken the plate off. And inside you'll see the wires to the pump itself. Uh, what you'll want to do is run your cord up the bottom of this. There's a hole right here. Uh, we recommend you use a Romex connector, it's called. Uh, it basically just slides up in. It has a washer that tightens from the top, which seals it off. And then you tighten your wires in with this bottom screw here. And that will seal the box off so your wires don't get corroded. And then uh, it's basically just color matching up the wires. Uh, there's a green, the ground wire will go underneath this green screw right here. It's kind of hard to see. Let me get the wires out of the way for you. This green screw right here, you'll uh, loosen that, put this green wire underneath it. Okay, now that I have the ground wire hooked up to the green ground screw, uh, basically we'll just match our other wires up, black to black, take a wire nut, tighten them on, same with white to white, take a wire nut, Tighten those two together. Now get your wires all stuffed into this box here. Because this is on and ready to go. There are a few more things you want to do before you power it up though. Okay, now that we have power wired to it and the box closed back up, uh, it's time to hook your airline and put in the uh, external filter here that came in the envelope with your uh, motor. Um, the pump hooks up up here. There's these two orange tabs. Um, it says in and out here on the uh, motor itself. These two black knobs twist out, but they contain another filter. They're called internal filters. So you want to leave those in there. Um, the filters do need to be cleaned every six months. It, including the external filter, um, but the pump does not hook up here, it hooks up on top. But the in and the out still do apply to this top section here. And uh, what you'll do is you'll take a pair of pliers and pull out these tabs. And you'll see that you have two uh, threaded hookups here on the top. On the inside, you will put the external filter assembly. And on the outside is where you'll hook up uh, your airline. We recommend you come from the pump with brass or galvanized. Um, these pumps do run hot. You can switch to PVC. Um, you know, after you use fittings to come out of the pump with brass or galvanized, but that's what we highly recommend you use to come directly out of the pump. Now that the pump is wired up, the external filters are installed, and you've got it hooked up to your system, it's time to power it up, make sure it runs. any other questions about uh, maintaining this pump or if you want to buy parts for it, filters, or buy this pump itself, you can visit us at septicsolutions.com or call us toll free at 1-877-925-5132. Thanks for watching.